consignment for mandi in this presentation we'll discuss about how you can use and implement consignment for mandi feature in busy this feature is designed keeping in mind the needs of the commission agents of the anaj mandi that is how they purchase goods from the farmers and sell those goods crops basically to the customers in this sale purchase process various expenses and various taxes are also implemented like hamali arat mandi tax association fees commission so recording of all these transactions and expenses are covered in the consignment for mandi feature and it's a very easy and simple process for a commission agent to enter these entries in pc first of all we'll enable the consignment for mandi feature by going to administration configuration features option inventory tab enable the enable consignment sales feature click configure button In the options for consignment sales window, first option is consignment type, in which we'll select the without order option. As Monday feature for consignment generally do not required order booking. Order booking is basically not required in this trade type, so we'll select the without order option. Then is maintain customer at the time of purchase. That is, you want to maintain customer details at the time of purchase itself. That is, while entering purchase voucher, you can specify the customer from whom you are buying the goods. Next is maintain price of source voucher that is you want to maintain the price of the source voucher that is the price as entered in the purchase voucher will be as it is copied to the sales voucher click save button to save this configuration next we will be discussing the tag bill sundries voucher wise option under configuration using this option you can predefine the bill sundries to be used with a sale type or the series for a voucher type The main advantage of this is that there is no scope of error that is once you have defined all the bill sundries to be used then they will automatically be applied in the voucher and it eliminates any scope of not applying any bill sundry or not applying correct bill sundry so here we are select voucher type as sales series main and sale type as mandi sarso you can view this sale type in the modify mode that is this is for multi tax rate and now after selecting the sale type we'll specify the required bill sundries first bill sundry is arat we are opening this bill sundry in modify mode it is additive in nature with its default value is 2.25 supplied as a percentage basis next we are specifying the association fees then is mandi tax 1.0 that is for sir so the mandi tax is 1% so we are taking this particular bill sundry then tulai kkc so all the required bill sundries will specify next we'll go to the item master if you have not yet created items and you can use the item add option to create new items we have already created various items so we are opening an item sir so in the modify mode for this item we have specified the main unit as kgs and alternate unit as quintals at the bottom you can also specify the default unit to be used for sales and the default unit to be used for purchase here we are taking both the units as alternate units that is we will be doing sale purchase in the quintal only click save button to save the item master next we are going to our transactions so first of all we are entering a purchase voucher by going to transactions purchase add option select the required series here we have already created a series you can create series as per your requirement by using the voucher series configuration option purchase type we are selecting exempt as these are exempt item next is party party here refers to the farmer or the kisan from whom you are buying the crops on selecting the party a consignment details for customer window will appear here will specify the consignment required as yes and the customer type is single customer that is we are not buying these goods for multiple customer we are bu buying these goods for single customer and we'll specify the customer name like harban lal which is our customer for whom we are buying these goods if you select the multiple customer options then you can specify the customer name along with each item specify the item related details and then apply the bill sundries first is hamali we are opening this bill sundry in modify mode you can see the configuration then we are applying the commission bill sundry and then is the tds so this is asking calculate tds for current voucher we have clicked the yes button and then we have clicked the post button to post the tds value in the tds deduction details window this is showing the tds values 
and then this is asking do you want to copy and generate sales voucher it is you want to copy all these details and generate a sales voucher out of these details so if you want to automatically generate a sales voucher you can click the yes button currently we are pressing the no button we'll enter our sales voucher ourselves next we are entering one more purchase voucher here we are selecting the party as ramlal kisan that is another kisan consignment required yes single customer we are specifying the customer name is manoj kumar and here we are specifying two items one is sarso and one is sweet that is from ramlal kisan we have bought two items sarso and sweet for the customer manoj kumar then again we are applying the bills and rees hamali commission tds posting the tds and again we is asking do you want to copy and generate sales voucher and we are clicking the no button now we will be entering our sales transaction we will go to sales add options selecting the series as main and here we are selecting the sale type as mandi sarso if you remember for this particular combination that is sales voucher main series and sale type mandi sarso we have already defined all these bills and rees so busy has automatically applied all the bills and rees like our association fees mandi tax 1.0 July and KKC. So this is the advantage of tag bill sundry voucher wise option. That is, all the bill sundries have been applied automatically, and there is no scope of error in it. Next, we are selecting the party that is the customer for whom we have bought the goods. That is, for whom we have entered the purchase voucher. So here we are selecting the single vendor option in the consignment window. Under is Gopi Ram Kisan. If you remember, we have entered first purchase voucher for the Gopi Ram Kisan. That is, we have bought the sarso from Go Gopi Ram Kisan, and here item details are appearing automatically. Bills and rates have already been applied automatically, so it's very simple to enter a sales voucher against the purchases you have made. So again, this is asking: Do you want to copy and generate purchase voucher? That is, out of the sale voucher, you want to generate purchase voucher. So you can do that also. But we have already entered the purchase voucher, so we are clicking the no button. Next, in the bulk updations under administration menu, we will be discussing the generate pending consignment sales option. Using this option. that is using generate pending consignment sales option you can generate multiple sales voucher for the pending consignment sales using a single screen here we are specifying the series date material center generate item wise invoice we have specified yes in this field and now we are specifying the item name and the sale type to be used for them for item sarso we have used the sale type as mandi sarso and for item beat we have used the sale type as mandi so we have specified two different sale types for these two items now we are clicking the save button and on the screen you can see this is showing that for the customer manoj kumar two vouchers will be posted that is one is for item beat and one is for item sir so as both these items have different mandi tax so we have specified different sale type for them next click the yes button in the message box and you can see vouchers have been created successfully that is voucher sale voucher has been created successfully now we'll be opening the list of sales voucher here you can see for customer manoj kumar two vouchers has been posted first voucher is for item wheat where mandi tax at the rate of 1.6% is applied and second voucher is for the item sarso where mandi tax at the rate 1.0% is applied you can see how busy has posted two vouchers because we have specified different sale types it's in the bulk updation itself an option bulk payment is provided using this option you can make payments in bulk that is you can make multiple payments using a single screen so we'll be using this option for making the payments in bulk for consignment so we'll be specifying the date range and then we are specifying that we want to post a journal voucher or a payment voucher series and date for the voucher bank cash account check number the check number you will specify here will be incremented by 1 and will be shown in the narration fields in the grid that is party details grid or you can say amount details grid then if you want to give any discount you can specify the discount percentage here and you will specify the account in which the discount amount will be posted share your tds detail first of all you will specify the commission account this show apply tds will specify yes here and will select the already deducted option if we have already deducted the tds yes 
yes we have deducted the tds in the purchase voucher so we are selecting the already deducted option if we have not yet deducted the tds then we'll select the to be deducted option next the tds account will specify and the rounding of amount rounding of options will specify here and the rounding of account and you can see for the party gopi ram the balance amount it's showing and for the ramlal kisan it's showing the balance amount commission amount tds amount you can specify the amount paid also if the amount paid is less than the balance amount and you have specified yes in the clear full option then the difference amount will be shown in the discount amount section but if the amount paid is less than balance and you have specified no in the clear full option the amount will not be shown in the discount amount that is a difference amount will not be shown in the discount amount and will treat that this particular reference has been cleared partially so be very careful in specifying yes and no in the clear full option and in the narration field you can see that the check number has been incremented by one so it's a very simple way of making payments in bulk now click the save button to post the journal voucher for these entries busy has shown the message that it has posted two journal vouchers now we'll go to the list of journal vouchers here you can see it's showing two journal vouchers so first is for our gopiram kisan and next is for ramlal kisan you can see the complete details discount allowed bank rounding off of the amount and all such details so this is all we have to cover in this presentation hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily use and implement consignment for mandi feature in busy thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel